Today I'm going to show you how to use Screencastify in order to record your screen. Screencastify is a Google Chrome extension that is available from the Chrome Web Store. It allows for you to record your, your screen uh, when you have Chrome running and it also uh, will record your uh, narration from the microphone and if you desire it'll also record your webcam and put that all together into one recording. In order to get uh, Chrome or Screencastify, uh, you go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Screencastify. Now, if you're using your school-issued Chromebook, you won't have to worry about this part because uh, the tech department has already pushed it out to all the student-issued Chromebooks. Once you get to the Chrome Web Store and search for Screencastify, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Uh, and you just need to click on the Add to Chrome button over here on the right. Uh, mine says Remove from Chrome because I've already added it to Chrome. Once you uh, do that, then it will uh, get permission from you in order to use your webcam and your microphone. Uh, and it may ask you to log in to Chrome so it knows uh, your Google Drive accounts so that it knows where to save your uh, video when you're done. And it'll also put a, uh, a little button up here in the extensions area uh, that looks like the Screencastify logo. And that's the button that you're going to use in order to start and stop your recordings. Okay, so let's look and see how you would use this to uh, record your presentation, your Google Slides presentation. Generally, uh, once you get your presentation done, you just go up here to the present button and uh, present it through a projector or some other means. With Screencastify, you first need to go up to the Screencastify button and click on it. It will bring up a window. Uh, if you're not logged into Chrome, then it'll have you uh, log into Chrome. Uh, the first time that you run it, you might get another uh, screen here that asks for permissions in order for you to use the uh, uh, webcam and the microphone. And up here at the top, it says five minute uh, limit per video. That's using the free version. Uh, that should, shouldn't be any problem uh, with the presentations that you're going to give. They should all be under five minutes. Okay, then the first choice you have here is uh, where do you want to record? Uh, the default is desktop and that's what we're going to use. But if you wanna just record a certain browser tab, you can do that. Or you can just do your webcam without your screen um, at all. Uh, we're using the desktop because when Google Slides uh, presents, it presents full screen and not in the single browser tab. The next choice is your microphone. It should be on by default. It should be able to find your microphone automatically. If not, you can hit the select to choose your microphone. And you can see whether it's working or not just by saying a few words. And you can see that the audio indicator uh, will go up and down uh, as you say things. The next one is embedding the webcam. If you wish, you can uh, turn that on and embed your webcam. And then if you do turn it on, then you'll have to uh, select which webcam you want for that. Uh, and uh, most Chromebooks only have one webcam, so there'll be only one selection there. And then down here, we have the record button. Uh, before you hit the record button, you want to make sure that you're ready to go. Uh, you should have your presentation in the foremost tab in the browser uh, and because when you once you start recording uh, you only have a few seconds to get things the way you want it before it starts recording your video so I'm gonna hit record here first thing it's gonna ask you before it starts recording is what do you want to record you've already chosen desktop but you can choose a specific application that you want to see or your entire screen you do need to click on it so that it highlights and then the share button will become blue. Uh, once you hit that share button, you've got three seconds to, to be ready to go. So you need to uh, prepare your, your screen and mentally prepared uh, to talk because as soon as you hit that share button, it's going to start going. So I'm going to hit the share button right here and I'm purposely going to take some time here. You can hear the, uh, the ding, ding, dings that tells you as soon as you get that third ding, it is recording. Uh, during that time, you are going to want to hit the present button and uh, get ready to go. I purposely did not do that to show you how you can trim that later on. 
You'll notice down here at the bottom of your screen, you see this a pop-up that says Screencastify is uh, sharing your screen. Uh, and that's fine. That doesn't show up in your video. That's just a way that you, you can click on it when you're done recording. So you're going to give your presentation like you were standing up in front of the class uh, using the uh, space bar to go forward. I'm going to talk about the uh, um, whatever you have in your presentation, uh, what type of identity theft you have for this particular assignment. And as you go through uh, all of the slides and things, once you're done, then uh, you can hit the stop sharing button down here, or you can also use shift alt R as the keyboard shortcut in order to uh, stop the video. And then once you do that, then you can hit the escape key and you'll notice that uh, a new tab in your browser will open up and uh, it will uh, give you a preview of your video and it will start previewing uh, what you had. Uh, there's a little pause button down here that you can use to stop. Now, if there was a, a section of your video at the beginning that you didn't quite catch, you can use the trim button here uh, to uh, take parts of it out. So you could just click on the scissors and drag over as far as you want to go. Uh, and that part won't be included in your video. There's also scissors at the tail end and you could do the same thing. And after you do the trimming and everything, uh, you do some trimming, there's a button over here that says uh, save trim or cancel. And you can decide whether or not you want to keep those trims. If you want to trim from the beginning and end, then uh, you hit save trim. Unfortunately, there's not a way for you to trim in the middle. Okay, as you're previewing here, it's going to be saving it to your Google Drive automatically. And it's going to save it with this title up here. Uh, so this is untitled April 25th, uh, 2020, 608 AM. All you have to do is click on it and it will highlight and you can give it whatever name that you want it to uh, be. I'm going to call mine Screencastify example. Uh, and then I can, uh, it'll change that name both here on the screen and in the Google Drive. Um, there is an editor that you can open up. I think that that's only for... The, the paid version though, uh, you can trash it if you don't like it and start over or uh, you can just move on from there. Okay, now in order to turn this in, you're going to come down here to the download, open that up and we're going to choose the one that's export as MP4. We don't have to worry about this checkbox here, just click on export. You'll see a little screen down here that it's exporting it. It's going to export that MP4 file to your Google Drive just like uh, it shared the, the regular copy. Uh, Screencastify records in a format called WebM, which is a browser only viewing. And so we need to change it to an MP4 to be able to put that file into Schoology in a format that I'll be able to open it up and watch it. Okay. So once it's all done converting it, you can click on the download button to download it to your Chromebook, uh, or you can leave it there. And then uh, in Schoology, uh, I'll give a, a separate video that shows you how to get that video or any file uh, from either Google Drive or your Chromebook and upload it into Schoology and turn in that assignment. So that's how you're going to use Screencastify to record your presentation at home instead of being in front of a classroom.